Greetings, brethren. It's me, the donkey, and I'm back on my bull crap with uh, Donkey vs. Beer. And today, I thought it is high time for me to check out a beer from the continent of Africa. And we are checking out Tusker. Now, I have never had this beer, and there's a few things about it that are interesting. So it says that it is a finest quality lager, which... I, I mean, cool, I like lagers, but is it a real lager? Because, um, you know, you have, to, you have to refrigerate a lager during the brewing process. It needs to be like 4 to 9 degrees Celsius. Africa is a pretty hot place. This is specifically from Kenya, which is in East Africa. And uh, I've never been to Kenya, but um, that's a hot place. Now, obviously, they're not, it's not, you know... It, I, I'm well aware that there is civilization in Africa. It's not a mud hut, you know, hinterland, but still, I'm, I'm just saying, you know. So, yeah. Also, no ingredient list on the back, which is really weird. I'm not used to that. It just says medium beer contains barley. <laughs> well, I would hope so. It's a beer. Uh, and it's not a wheat beer, so I would, I would hope it, it contains barley, but all right. We'll just, we'll just dive right into this one. Uh, I don't know exactly what to expect. It is a lager, but uh, I still went with the pint glass anyway, because, you know. Oh, okay. This definitely smells uh, sugary. So, we'll see what we get. So it looks pretty good. Uh, Color-wise, I am thinking Pilsner. Uh, but the smell... Oh, the smell does not make me think uh, Pilsner. The smell is odd. The smell is very, um, very sort of sugary. So I'm, I'm thinking there's some, that there might be some corn or some rice in here. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll have a go and we'll just see what we think, right? Keep an open mind and all that. Hmm. Hmm. That's very strange. All right, so I will definitely say this is this is unlike anything I've ever tried. Um, it's only four point two percent, by the way. But it is the taste is so different, huh? So I can definitely say there is some kind of uh, some kind of adulterating agent in here, uh, some kind of sugar or something. Um, all right, just, just, sorry, I'm just reading the, <laughs> the, the label, but yeah, I, I don't know, I, there's something about it that, that is just strange. It has almost an, an herb-like quality to it, which is really odd. It does not taste like any German lager or even European lagers. It's very, very different. I'm not necessarily saying it's bad, because there is actually quite a lot of flavor going on in this. Unlike, you know, with sort of commercial North American uh, lagers, there's actually, there's actually something going on here, and it's... It's not unpleasant. It's just strange. <laughs> it's I, I'm not sure how to how to really specify this. There's something about this that I just that I'm having trouble. It's the same with the smell. The smell is just kind of weird. It 
it kind of it, it really does just kind of have an, an herby quality to it it's, it's almost like a sort of an earthy uh, uh, thyme or um, oregano something like that you know like a like a really earthy Mediterranean kind of herb and it's it's it, it blows my mind because it's just not a taste I I would associate with a beer personally so it's yeah but it, it's not unpleasant at all there's no it's it's really not very bitter and there's absolutely no acidity which is something that comes into play a lot with uh, um, um, some lagers from especially from Asia but this one does not have any of that it's just it's actually quite nicely rounded it's it, there's not too much flavor going on and there's definitely a sweetness so I'm thinking there's something in there that's adulterating the whole thing so maybe rice maybe corn uh, maybe some kind of African grain I'm not sure I, I don't know I, it doesn't say on the bottle what what's in it you know it just it contains barley but I, I don't know what else is in it so I'm not gonna speculate too much but there is something in there that makes it taste sweeter so I I'm guessing there's gonna be something in it along the lines of you know, a, a rice or a, um, a corn additive, just to get the yeast going more easily. Uh, that is something that, you know, companies do when they don't brew by the uh, purity law, because it, it just makes the brewing process more easy and, and more accessible and cheaper. That's simply what it is. Um, the purity law is specifically set up to disallow those things, because yes, they are cheaper, but they kind of tinker with with the taste because in the end you can you know that that's why the american beers have that very slight sort of hint of popcorn and they're really sweet and have very little flavor otherwise uh, and why the the sort of you know uh, when they have rice in them you can kind of sort of taste rice krispies afterwards it's just not very pleasant it's just an additive that's not really necessary and it's just in there so it's cheaper so but anyway with this one I would say that that sort of sweet aspect to it um, is not as intense. So I can't tell if this is Rice Krispies or popcorn because I, I'm not sure. It's, it's, so, it's a little bit more subtle, but it is there. There is something in there, some kind of sweetening agent that was used to, to get the yeast going. But um, other than that, it's, it's really not that bad. Like... I'm okay with this and 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 that really that herbiness to it is very interesting and I, I just I I'm having a hard time really specifically placing it and it it does give me an association with sort of African wildlife which is weird I know, but it, it for some reason that's that's sort of the association that's happening in my head. I, I don't know what that means, but it's it's yeah, it's it's a really interesting beer. I'm actually quite glad that I bought this. Would I drink it again? I think it's just on the cusp. Um, probably not. I think it's just it's just missing the mark for me. I think that. The, the problem for me always is the, the decision that I'm making, you know, uh, with rebuying a beer is I, I just really don't like that, that sweetness, that that's kind of, it, it ruins it for me a little bit. It, it just, I, it doesn't need it. It makes it unnecessarily uh, soda pop like. And um, even though it's really mild in this case and really not too overbearing, it's just, it's there and it's annoying me even if it's just a little bit. So I think I would probably not get this again. And as such, I don't think I can give this more than a four out of 10. It's not a bad beer, really. Uh, I could maybe even go as high as 4.5, just, just because it has that really interesting herbiness to it. That's just odd. And I've, I, I don't know where to place it, but, um, I am also doing this on the same day that I did the Radeberger Pilsner, and that is just echelons above this. So I think a 4 out of 10 is fair. 
Um, but it's... I would definitely encourage you to try this. If you can get your hands on Tusker, I would say give it a go because it's it's definitely a drinkable beer and it's certainly something that's kind of different in, in, in ways that you might not expect because that herbiness really is something that you don't really get in beers usually. It's it's so it's so different. <laughs> it's yeah, it's it's kind of like when you're used to a more uh, like you're used to Mexican spice bl spice blends or uh, Mediterranean spice blends, and if you've ever had a, an African spice blend, it's so very different, right? Because there's there's just uh, there's a lot less extremes in there, and there's strange sweetness going on, and it's it's just um it, it yeah it's just an interesting difference, and I think that kind of uh, it does or that kind of happens with this beer as well compared to something you might be more familiar with so I would definitely recommend at least trying this um, but again for me it's not one that I would get again I'm definitely gonna finish it which is I mean that is a stamp of approval after the last week or two of just horrific beers that I did not finish um, yeah so it's it's really interesting it's really odd in a way And there's just something going on with it that I that I really can't place. It's just, it has a really strange taste to it. But I'm not opposed to it. I don't hate it. It's, it's all right. It's a, it's a, it's an okay beer, just below average, I would say, but uh, certainly drinkable and uh, worth worth trying because it's, it's different, and different is sometimes kind of cool. <laughs> so I hope you will have a wonderful evening. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, please come back and watch me again on another day with another beer. Take care, guys.